if you signed up for VBS, we appreciate you signing up. And right after service this morning, Sister Sherry would like to meet with everyone right over here on this side, if you would. And she's got some things to go over with you. And we still also could use about two or three people to help with preschool. If you haven't signed up and you would like to help, you can just stay after service and let her know that you can help with that. So if we can get two or three more people to help with that, we'd greatly appreciate it. And then board members, I need to meet with you while they're meeting in the office real quick right after service. And then if you're not meeting there or meeting with me and the board, we need help setting up tables and chairs in the back. So if you can help with e setting up tables and chairs, if you're not here, there, or anywhere, we'd appreciate it, all right? So right after service tonight, we'll be having hot dogs and nachos. We added nachos because not everybody likes hot dogs. But we'll be having hot dogs, chips, and nachos right after service tonight. And the money raised for that will go to help uh, pay, pay for kids going to youth camp. And uh, the, there will be a menu price for each item, like hot dogs and chips and a drink is so much. And we'll have that for you tonight before you go back there. There will be slips of paper with the prices on it. So please come stay, be a part. And if you're not able to come and you'd like to sponsor someone or help, give toward youth camp. There's a can back there on the information table. You can put the money in there, and the money for that will go to help pay for youth camp. And we've already had somebody sponsor one child, and we appreciate that. If you'd like to sponsor a child, it's $150 per child uh, to go to youth camp. We know cost of everything's gone up. Youth, price, youth camp prices have gone up. But if you'd like to sponsor somebody, we could uh, take sponsors as well. And then also, next Sunday night at 6 o'clock, instead of having service, we'll be having our annual fireworks and cookout. It'll start at 6 o'clock, and we'll meet outside in the back. We won't have any service in here. But if you'd like to bring a lawn chair or some bug spray, we do have the picnic tables out there, but we usually don't uh, fit everybody under there. So if you'd like to bring some uh, lawn chairs to sit along the side or whatever, and... Uh, I do need some specific items. I need some people to bring uh, coolers with ice, two liters, uh, hot dog buns. And if you could bring any of those things, I have a sign-up sheet out there on the information table. If you would uh, please sign up that way, I make sure those things are covered. But we do also need you to bring chips and side dishes to go along with that. So if you don't want to bring a two liter or ice, you can bring a side dish, some bag of chips or something like that. So if you can bring one of those items I mentioned, please stop out there at the information table and sign up. I know I got a lot of announcements. I got one more and then we'll get started. Uh, this Saturday at 2.30, Brother Jason and Sister Jennifer will be renewing their wedding vows here at the church, and they want to welcome, invite your, uh, their church family, so if you'd like to come be a part of that, that'll be at 2.30 this Sunday, or this Saturday afternoon. So that's all the announcements. I'm going to ask the ushers to come and you stand. We're going to receive the morning offering and tithe. How many knows giving is part of worship? Amen. So let's begin by giving to the Lord. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we love you. And God, we thank you. God, for this privilege, this opportunity, Lord, just to come into this house and to be able to worship you. Father, I pray, God, as we give in this offering, God, that you would bless every gift, bless every giver. And God, let us use this, Lord, these finances, Lord, to further your kingdom. And Father, I pray, God, that you just have your way here this morning. God, help us to decrease. Lord, that you might increase. And Father, we ask all this this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. And everyone said, Amen. Let's worship the Lord. If you have to give, the ushers will be coming by. Am I on? Amen. This is just a quick public service announcement. When you go home today, take Greenbush Avenue. Even if it's the opposite direction that you normally go, take Greenbush. Now, if you don't know what that means, then you weren't in Sunday school this morning. Amen. <laughs> As you can tell by the uh, tune that Brother Dan is playing, I believe we even read a verse this morning about being set free, the truth shall set you free. This song is Who You Say I Am. This worship this morning, church, God is good.
worship with us this morning, church, as Brother Jason leads us into this song. Nothing else. I'm caught up in your presence. I just want to sit here at your feet. Caught up in this holy moment, I never want to leave. Oh, I'm not here for blessings, Jesus. You don't owe me anything more than anything. Again this morning, church. Oh, I'm caught up in your presence. I just want to sit here at your feet. I'm caught up in this holy moment. I never want to leave. Another song, oh, take me back to where we started. I open up my heart to you. I open my heart to you. Lord, I'm sorry when I've come with my agenda. I'm sorry when I forgot that you're enough. Take me back to where we started. I open up my heart to you. Sing that verse again, verse 2. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. When I come with my agenda, I'm sorry. He's enough, church. When I forgot that you're enough. Take me back to where we started. My heart is. I'm caught up because I'm caught up in your presence. I just want to sit here at your feet. I'm caught up in this holy moment. I never want to leave. Nothing else, nothing else, nothing else will do. I just want you. Nothing else, nothing else, nothing else will do. I just want you. Nothing else. Nothing else, nothing else will do. I just want you. Nothing else, nothing else, nothing else will do. Lord, I just want you. Nothing else, nothing else, nothing else will do. Cause I'm caught. 
up in this holy moment, though I never want to leave. I just want you. I just want you. Nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing else will do. I just want you. Is that your prayer this morning? Nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing else will do. Nothing else, nothing else will do. One more time, I just want you. Nothing else, nothing else, nothing else will do. how it is to be caught up into the presence for as it said so many times we come to him for an agenda we come for him for a blessing we come to him for everything except just to get into his presence for there's nothing greater than being in his presence I don't know about you this morning but I feel his presence here I feel His presence. I don't know what you're going through this morning, but as we sing this again, I want you to just listen to the words. Just listen to the words. Do you hear the words of this? I am caught in your presence. I don't just want to sit here. I just want to sit here in, at your feet. To be sitting at the feet of, of Jesus. We sing that again. I just want you to just get into His presence. I'm sorry yes. when I've come with my agenda. I'm sorry when I forgot that you're enough. Take me back to where we started. I open up my heart to you. Open your heart I'm caught up in your presence. I just want to sit here at your knees. I'm caught up in this holy moment. I never want to be.
I love you with a love that will last through all, throughout all eternity. I am God and I am with you this morning. Please turn back to me. Turn back to me. I am your first love. Turn back to me, says the Lord. He says, I am here in your, in your midst. He said, I'm here. But if you also heard, he says, you are my children. I don't know, like I said, what you're going through. But I promise you, when you get into the presence of God, all that disappears. The hurt, the pain, the struggles, the depression. When you're in the presence of the King of Kings just melts away. I just want you. Oh, yes, Jesus. Nothing else. Nothing else matters but you. Nothing Nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing else will do. I just want you. Nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing else will do. I just want you, nothing else, nothing else, you've tried it all, nothing else will do, I just want you, nothing else, nothing else in this world will satisfy, nothing else, nothing else will do. Yes, Jesus, we thank you for your presence. We thank you, God, for we don't deserve. But there you are with mercy to give. We don't deserve your love. But there you are with arms open, giving love. Forgiveness. But there you are ready to forgive oh God we don't deserve we don't deserve to be in your presence but oh how I feel it how I feel your presence God thank you Jesus yes Jesus yes Jesus with a raise in your hand you're saying brother I have a need this morning I need my God to take care of it. Oh, yes. Yes, Jesus. Dear Heavenly Father, God, you know the needs of each and every one here. And there's not one need here this morning, God, that is above you, beyond you, that is where you cannot handle. And God, we are believing right now that, God, every one of these needs are going to be met. We believe it with an unlimited resting faith, knowing, knowing, God, that it is your will to take care of us. And God, we are thanking you right now for all the victory. We're thanking you for those needs right now that are going to be met, that are being met right now. God, we know right now that you're going to do great and awesome things. And we give you glory, we give you honor, and we give you praise. And God, we thank you. We thank you for your presence. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Continue with worship, church. Sister Darla has a special she's going to bring forth. Amen, amen. Praise the Lord. You know, God has promised to take us through so many things. And I look around and I talk to Terry and she's had that shattered ankle and I see Sister Nicole this morning. And many of us have just went through a lot of things. But I'm here to tell you this morning that I'm going to make it. You're going to make it if you keep your faith and your trust in God. So just worship with me this morning. Wow. 
the very best that I can. My weaknesses prevail, but then I remember the promise He made, that in my weakness He'll be made up their mind this morning, I'm going to make heaven my home. I don't care what comes in my way, I'm going to make it. Why? Because he's with us, right? Amen. Praise God. Have I not said, will I never leave thee, forsake thee, that I'll be with you always and forever? For I am the Lord thy God. Trust in me and know that I will not fail thee. I will not forsake thee. I will hold thee with my right hand, saith the Lord. For I am there in the darkest hour. I am there in the rising of the sun. I'm there every moment, every hour of every day. And I am God and I am with thee this day, my children. Take strength and know that I am God and I am with thee. And you can make it, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. Give me my hand clap of praise this morning. How many knows we're not meant to walk this thing by ourselves? And in our good works and our good measures, but it's through the power of God that lives within us. Amen. That what's, that's what gives us the strength to make it. Amen. 
We're going to dismiss our kids, look like they're going back to kids' church. Amen. If you have your Bibles this morning, I'd like you to turn to 2 Timothy chapter 2. We're going to read verse 3. Now, I didn't know what song they were going to sing, and they didn't know my sermon today, but that song went right along with my message this morning. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 3. Once you've found that, if you're able to and like to, you can stand for the reading of the Word. It says, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. This morning I want to preach on the thought of we must endure. Let's pray. Father, I thank you, Lord, for everything, that, God, that you've already done here this morning. God, I thank you for your presence, God, that's so relevant here in this place. And Father, I stand here in need knowing that I cannot do this by myself. God, I need you, God, to anoint me and use me. Help me, God, to be your microphone. God, that I can declare your word to these people here this morning. Help me, God, to say what you want me to say and not what I want to say. But God, everything that I do say, let me say it under the unction and the anointing of the Holy Ghost. God, anoint every ear to hear it and every heart to receive it. And God, I pray all this this morning in the name of Jesus. And everyone said, Amen. Amen. You may be seated this morning. We must endure. The word endure, according to the dictionary, means to continue to exist or to last. To suffer without yielding. Amen. The Word of God tells us to endure hardness as a good soldier. Or let's take out the word, amen, endure and put in there, thou, for, there, thou therefore we must continue to exist, amen, when hardness comes as a good soldier, amen. I'm not trying to take out and add to the Word of God. I'm just putting in there what the dictionary says the word means. But if we could take out thou, therefore, amen, suffer without yielding as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Amen. I believe this morning as children of God, there are going to be times in our lives that we're going to have to suffer. Amen. We're going to have to endure hardness. Amen. But we must make up our minds. I will endure. I will continue to exist. I will last. I will not give up, I will not give in, but I will hold on to His hand. And by His power and His authority, I can make it. Amen? The Word of God tells us to endure hardness as good soldiers. How many knows a good soldier don't run when things get tough? A good soldier doesn't retreat. A good soldier is willing to lay down their life. Amen. A good soldier is dedicated, amen, and willing to do whatever it takes, amen, for their commander in chief. Amen. How many knows this morning God will not let, ask you to do anything unless He is there with you as you go through what you have to go through? Amen. But we must purpose in our hearts when hard times come, I will not retreat, I will not give up, but I will hold on and I will dig in and I will last and I will make it. Amen. And I will continue to exist. Amen. I may have some battle scars. Amen. But I'm going to hold on and I'm going to make it. Amen. Just because you come to Jesus don't mean you're never going to have a hard time again. Can I tell you this morning, we will have hard times. But we can know that we know He's with us through the hard times. And we can continue to face those hard times knowing that He's there to help us through. Amen. And sometimes people may not like you because you have purposed in your heart, I'm going to serve God. I'm going to endure the hardness of life and I'm going to stand for God no matter what it takes. People may not like you for your stand and your stance that you take for the Lord. 
Matthew 10, verse 22, it says, And you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endureth to the end shall be saved. Amen. I'm not here trying to paint nobody a phony fake picture. Amen. Telling you come to Jesus and your life is going to be wonderful, rosy, and everybody's going to love you and you're going to be the most popular person on the planet. I'm not trying to paint you a fake phony picture this morning. Amen. Just because you come to Jesus, just because you purpose in your heart, I'm going to live for God, doesn't mean everybody's going to be on your bandwagon. Amen. Some people just hate you for your stand for God. You don't have to do anything except for just live for God and people's not going to like you. You may be hated just because you stand for the truth. How many knows they don't like the truth today? How many knows the truth is what set us free? Amen. It's still Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Amen. we got so many different ways to heaven today. But my Bible says there's only one way. And that's through the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. If we don't want to follow the new way, how many knows we're not always popular? But we got to stand for the truth and say it's still Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. And when you tell people that today, they they may not like it and they may not like you, but we must remember that those that endure to the end shall be saved. Yeah, people may hate us. People may not like us. But how many knows we don't have to need people to like us to know that we can make it? I don't need somebody to come and tell me it's going to be okay. There are times that we need help and encouragement. But I need to know it's going to be okay because God said it's going to be okay. I need to know it's going to be okay because Jesus said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you, but I'll be with you always. Amen. We may be hated for no reason. People may not like us. Amen. Just because we stand for the truth today. Amen. But we need to know that if people may not like us, Jesus still loves us. And while we were yet sinners, He died for us. So His love for us ought to be enough. Amen. We don't need everybody to like us. Amen. To make it to heaven. We just need to have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Amen. And we will continue to exist. And we will last. And we will make it home. As long as we keep the truth as number one in our hearts, in our lives. And who's the truth? Jesus, right? He's the way, the truth, and the life, right? Amen. People may not like us for our stand for Christ. But we must continue to stand, right? We must continue to stand. Amen. We must continue to exist. We must endure. Amen. We must keep going. Amen. And how I many know sometimes bad things do happen to good people? John 16, verse 33, These things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Amen. Just because we decide to live right and to serve God and try to, amen, stand for the truth doesn't mean that bad things won't happen to us. Amen. Bad things still happen to good people. But we need to know that even though bad things may happen in our lives, that Jesus has not forgotten us. He has not forsaken us. He has warned us. And He has told us we will have tribulation. But through the tribulation and through the hardness of life, we can have peace and know that He is still there in the midst of our mess. Amen? He didn't say you wouldn't have a mess, but He said, I'll be with you in your mess. Amen. God gets no pleasure when we give up and we quit. Amen. 
God wants you to make it. He wants you to know He's there. He's right beside you. He's helping you through. Amen. He wants to, amen, you depend fully upon Him. And He wants you to know that you can have peace even in the midst of difficulties. Why? Because He is with us. And He is the Prince of Peace. Amen. And He also said He'd be very present during our time of trouble. Psalms 46, verse 1. If you haven't marked it in your Bible yet, you ought to mark it in there. Psalms 46, verse 1. It says, God is our refuge and strength. Amen. A very present help in trouble. Jesus didn't say we wouldn't have trouble. He didn't say all of our troubles will pass away. He said in this life we will have troubles and tribulation and bad things will happen to good people. But when those things happen, we have a refuge that we can run to. Amen. When things happen in our lives that may cause trouble or turmoil to us, we have a refuge that we can run to. If we are going to endure to the end, we must learn when troubles come to run to our refuge not shake your fist at him and say why me but we need to run to him and say God I need your strength Amen. God, I need your protection. God, I need your ability to go forward because I feel like throwing in the towel. I feel like I can't do no more. I feel like giving up. But God, give me the strength to hold on. And he said, I'll be very present. He'll be right there. He'll be right with you. Amen. He's not standing at a distance looking, saying, well... Wonder if they'll make it. Wonder if they'll give up. But he's very present. He's there rooting you on, saying, hold on, hold on, hold on. You can make it. You can do this. You can get through it. I will give you the strength to endure. Amen. And the Word of God, we know, tells us we will be tempted. But thank God we have a promise when we are tempted. James 1, verse 12 says, Blessed is the man. Oh, man. We love being tempted, don't we? Oh, hallelujah, we shout when we're tempted. It says, Blessed is the man that endured temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Amen. When we serve God, when we come to Christ and give Him control of our lives, how many knows our adversary, the devil, he's going to do everything he can to try to tempt us to bring us back to the old life. Amen. The devil don't like it when you chose to serve God. He don't like it when you made up your mind, I'm going to make heaven my home. He don't like it when you surrendered your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ. And he's going to do everything he can to try to tempt us. He's going to try to tempt you today. And if it doesn't work today, can I tell you, he's a dummy. He's going to come again tomorrow. And if it don't work tomorrow, He's going to come every day, every day until we leave this life. Just because you said today, I'm going to live for God, and I'm going to last, and I'm going to stand for God, that don't mean the devil says, okay, I'll leave you alone. How many knows He comes and He tempts you today? And if it doesn't work today, He's going to come with something else tomorrow. And he don't come with that red suit and a pitchfork saying, I'm the devil, I'm here to tempt you. How many knows he'll get in your mind? He'll try to get your thoughts away from God. He'll put things in front of your eyes that should not be there. And he'll cause your eyes to try to lust after those things. Amen. But I'm glad the Word of God says that when we are tempted, we'll never be tempted more than what we can bear. Or God wouldn't give us a way of escape out of the temptation. We do not have to give in to temptation. We will be tempted, but we don't have to give in to temptation. Because Jesus said there's got to be a way of escape. How many knows he's not a liar? And he also said that if we endure temptation, hey man, we got a crown of life waiting on us on the other side. Yeah, 
It may be hard right now. Yeah, it may seem like I'm tempted with this. I get through that. Here comes something else. Hold on. There's coming a day when you're going to walk before God and that crown of life is going to be placed on your head. And all the temptations that you had to overcome will be worth it. Amen? I mean, knows it's not how we start, it's how we finish. Amen? Did I miss a page? Sorry. Yeah. It's not how we start, it's how we finish. Matthew 24, verse 13. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Sad today, sad to say today, I've seen a lot of people who started out for the Lord that aren't going for the Lord today. We can all think of somebody that used to sit in these pews that no longer sit in the pew anywhere. They started out for the Lord. They had the right attitude and the right mind, but something happened that caused them to give up or give in. Amen. The Word of God says those that endure to the end shall be saved. Amen. Just because you came to church for five years, amen, you gave faithfully in the offering for five years, amen, you signed your name to our membership roll. How many knows that don't secure you a place in heaven? The only thing that will secure you a place in heaven is making up your mind, I'm going to endure everything the devil throws my way. I will not be deterred. I will not give up. I will not give in. If I have to walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I know that he'll be with me. And I will not give up. And I will not give in. I will endure to the end. How many knows when you go back your life, the Bible says it stayed around you seven times worse than what it was before. I can't imagine seven times worse than what I was before. I got nothing to go back to. Amen, I got a heaven to gain and a hell to shun. Amen, there ain't no devil in hell that can put something in front of me and show me something better than what God has given me. Amen, we need to make up my, my, our minds. I will not be another statistic of one that didn't, didn't make it. But I'll be one that will be there when everybody else is saying, let's go a different way. I'm going to stand for the right way. I'm going to stand for the truth. And I'm going to endure persecution. I'm going to endure people not liking me. I'm going to endure the hardships of life. I'm going to be a good soldier until I take my last breath here. Amen. Now don't get me wrong, I didn't come to discourage you today. Amen. Telling you all these bad things that are going to happen and things, amen, that you're going to have to go through. But I come to tell you today, we can make it. We can last. We can continue to exist through hardships, through difficulties, through people not liking us or loving us. Amen. We can make it. First John chapter 4, verse 4. It says, You are of God, little children. Amen. When we come to Christ, tell me knows we come into the family of God and our Heavenly Father is God. Amen, right? We are God's children. Are you one of God's kids? Amen. It says, You are of God, little children, and have overcome them because greater is He that is in you than He that is in the world. Amen. Yes. We will endure hardships. Yes, we will face persecution and difficulties. But we need to remember, I can overcome because He lives in me. Amen? I didn't come to tell you a sad story, but I just want to be real today. Things do happen to us, but we can know that we know through it all He's there. Amen. We sing that song, through it all. How many believes through it all? He's there. Why? Because He lives in me. Amen. Greater is He that is in us than every temptation, everything that comes our way. So we must endure. We must hold on. How many knows we're not meant to fight this fight with our own strength and our own power and our own abilities? Amen. It's the power of God in us. 
Zechariah 4, verse 6, Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, It's not by might nor by power, but by my Spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. Amen. We are not meant to go through the things that we're going to have to go through by ourselves and fight those things and go through those things in our own strength, in our own abilities, in our own power. It's the Spirit of God that is in us that will give us the strength to endure, that will give us the strength to stand when everybody else is giving up, when everybody else is running retreat. Amen. It will give us the strength to stand and say, I will not run back. I will not run to the side, but I will run forward. Amen. God gives us the strength. It's His Spirit that is in us that helps us. Amen. You're not meant to run this race alone. You're not meant to face life by yourself. So quit trying to figure it out. Quit trying to work it out on your own. Amen. Oh, me. Maybe this is for me, Sister Poole. They all got their halos on this morning. How many knows God wants to take your tragedies and turn them into testimonies? Hallelujah. How many believes that this morning? Romans 8, 28. Amen. We all know it. We all quote it. But do we believe it? It says, and we know. We know. We know. But do we know here? We heard it, we preached it, we sing about it. But do we know that we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them that who are called according to His purpose? Amen. God wants to take your tragedy and God wants to turn it around that you might testify how good and how wonderful your God is. Amen. All things. Work together for our good. All things, all bad things, all hard things, all difficult things work together for our good. We have to hold on. We have to purpose in our hearts. I'm going to endure. I'm going to last. I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to throw in the towel. I'm going to hold on. I'm going to make it. Amen. Can I tell you today, joy's coming. Joy's coming. Psalms 30, verse 5, For his anger endureth but a moment. In his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Amen. We must remember this time, this season that we're going through is only going to last for a while. Amen. But God's going to turn our weeping and our mourning into dancing and joy. Amen. If we have to leave this life and God takes us home, how many knows we can take our last breath here and wake up in the joy of the Lord in heaven? Yes. We have to endure some stuff. And yes, life may be hard right now. But remember, joy's coming. Joy's coming. Joy's coming. Hold on. Don't quit. Don't give up. Joy is on the way. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Satan knows if he can take your joy. He's got your strength. Amen. Don't give up. Don't quit. The Lord has heard your cry. Amen. He's there. He's with you. He's holding you up. If He has to take His right hand and hold you, He'll take His right hand and hold you and strengthen you. Amen. Remember, weeping's only for a night, but joy's coming in the morning. How many knows in closing this morning, it'll be worth it when we stand before Him. Amen. They return to the music and we stand to our feet this morning. All the things that we have to go through and deal with in our lives. All the temptations, all the hardships, all the hatred and anger we feel toward us. All the difficulties that come our way is going to be worth it one day. When we stand before God and we hear Him in Matthew 25 verse 21. It says, His Lord said unto him, 
Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful. Thou hast endured. Amen. Thou hast been through hardships. Thou hast been through trial. Thou hast been through tribulation. Amen. Thou hast been through some stuff. It says, I will make thee a ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. We all have an appointment with God. We all have a day when we're going to have to stand before God. And only those that endure to the ends are the ones the Lord is going to look at and say, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. You went through trial. You went through tribulation. You went through sickness. You went through death. You went through all that you went through, but you remained faithful. You endured. You didn't quit when things got tough. You didn't throw in the towel and say, I can't make it. You held on. And your Lord's going to look at you one day and say, Thou good and faithful servants, enter thou into the joy of the Lord. All this life that we've had to deal with is going to be worth it when the Lord says, Come on home. Enter in to that joyous place. As we bow our heads and close our eyes, I don't know what you're going through and I don't know what you've been through, but I know this morning God does. And God wants you to know this morning He loves you. He hasn't forgotten you. He hasn't forsaken you, but He's with you. Maybe you're here today, you're weary, you're tired. And you're on the verge of giving up. Can I invite you to this altar where God will be here to meet you and He'll give you the strength you need to endure the things that you have to endure, the hardships, the trials, the things that are you're going through right now. God will meet you here at this altar and He'll give you the strength you need to get through what you got to go through. If that's you this morning, would you come? The altar is open. Or maybe you're here, you're not where you need to be with God. You're not walking in right relationship with God. Maybe you gave up, or maybe you've withdrawn from the Lord. Amen. God is here letting you know He loves you. He's concerned about you, and He wants to restore the joy of your salvation. If that's you today, would you come and say, I'm going to make it, devil. You may have got me sidetracked. You may have got me off course. But today, I'm going to get things in order where they need to be. If that's you today, would you come? Or maybe you're here, you just need some strength. Hey Amen. the altars are open. If you don't want to come to the altar right where you're at, let's make us a place of prayer and say, God, give me the strength to endure. God, help me not to retreat. Help me not to give up. Help me not to give in, but God, give me the strength to hold on. Amen. The altars are open. You can come if you'd like. If you'd like to pray, you're seen. Amen. As they sing and pray. Of sing today. Let's pray. Hallelujah. Our big 
as your own. You amaze me, redeem me. You, you call, call me as your own. You're my strength. You're my defender. You're my refuge in the storm. Through these trials, oh, you've always been faithful. You bring healing to my soul, and I am not alone. I am not alone. You will go before me. You will never leave me. I am not alone. You will never leave me. I am not alone. I am not alone. You will go before me. You will never leave me. I am not alone. I am not alone. You will go before me. You will. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Somebody needs to know you're never alone. He's always there. Amen. I hope today the Word of God has reminded us we can make it. We can make it if we'll endure. Amen. Remember all the announcements. If you're going to help with VBS, please meet right over there. I need to meet with the board for a few minutes in the office. And if you're not anywhere there, if you could help set tables and chairs up back in the back for tonight. If you usually don't come on Sunday night, come out tonight. And we'll have hot dogs, chips, and nachos. But we will have church, and then we will celebrate back there. And we need uh, funds raised for youth camp. So remember all the announcements. Invite somebody to come next Sunday night to the cookout. Invite a neighbor, friend, kids. Invite your enemy. They can come too, all right? We'll have a great time. Appreciate you being here today. We're going to bow our heads to be dismissed this morning. Amen. Brother Adam, will you dismiss us?